The dynamic paint is an easy way to draw on a canvas and get results like this. So, every time you need to draw a furrow on the ground or leave a footprint on a surface, consider using this technique. First of all, let's add a plane and subdivide it in edit mode. You can also add and apply a subdivision surface modifier. Then, enter in the sculpt mode and add some variations to the terrain. But don't modify it where you want the snowball to roll. Now add an icosphere and place it at the beginning of its path. Place the sphere a bit below the ground so that the displace effect will be more visible. Create a simple animation along the y-axis or whatever axis you want. I'm also going to animate the rotation. As a last step, Animate the size so that the ball grows while it rolls on the snow. Before moving on, we have to add some resolution to the ground along the path of the ball. This because the dynamic paint effect will displace the surface, and we need enough detail to have a good result. But we don't want to add more subdivisions to the entire mesh of the ground. So, enter in the edit mode and select the faces along the path of the ball. Then, separate it by pressing the P key. Add a subdivision surface modifier. Now, select the plane, and in the Physics Properties tab, add the Dynamic Paint effect. Leave Canvas as Dynamic Paint Type, and then add the canvas. This basically means that the mesh is the canvas were to apply the effect. However, in this case, we don't want to paint, but to displace the surface. So, in the surface type attribute, choose Displace. Now, select the ball and apply the same effect. But this time, choose Brush's Dynamic Paint Type and add the brush itself. When you start the animation, the ground should be displaced by the sphere. You can also adjust the displacement amount with the Max Displace and Displace Factor in the Canvas properties. As a last step, we have to add a proper material to the ground in the ball. In this case a snow material by Ambient CG Textures. I also added an HDR image as background. You can use this effect as you want. For example tire grooves in the sand. Or the snow falling and accumulating on the ground. 